Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, wood munchers and fish punchers of all shapes and sizes, hello and welcome to my channel. Here we are about bushcraft and feed pictures. And let me tell you, you're gonna need to pay to get my feed pictures. Oh yeah. Check this out. Don't you want to see more of this? But without the clothes? Yeah. Sign up to my OnlyFans and you'll see much, much more. Sometimes I'll even bring friends. So this is how I spent my night. This is my hammock, my tarp, my backpack, my doggo senpai. He's such a good boy. And here are all the supermodels that spent the night with me. What? They're gone already? Oh well, the poor girls. They must be tired and all. So this is my hammock. And let me tell you, this is where the magic happens. And by magic it means I'm in there with a laminated picture of Mila Kunis and a stick light. You know, pondering where my life had gone wrong. Maybe crying just a bit. This isn't actually my usual setup. Trying out new gear just a bit. And uh, open hammock, no bug net or anything. It's held together by the anima cord and some climbing carabiners. You want to invest in your carabiners, and the anima cords are just like you want this, okay? The anima is like magic. It's lightweight, it's strong, it does not stretch, it does not break. You want yourself some denim. Under the main hammock, we have a secondary hammock. This one is just for the gear. Okay, it's just get the cheapest, smallest, lightest hammock you have and just hang it underneath. It helps so much with gear organization, you just dump all your gear here in one place and it helps so much, especially to people who are a mess in life, like myself. It's just like my parents said, nothing good will ever come out of me. And they were right. So the tarp is really important. It's your first layer of defense between you just doing your thing and people seeing you spanking the monkey until it cries. It also protects against the wind and the rain and whatever, but you know, the first thing is much more important. You want to spank that monkey. You want to spank it good. The tarp is held by a really modified ridge line. Basically, it's a very thin ridge line. Again, the Nima Pro 6 and a really modified trucker's hitch and you want a trucker's hitch because you want your ridge line like you want your cheerleaders you want it tight and you want it easy to set up for like reasons so the tarp is being held by 10 stakes and the magic that is a tout line hitch the tout line hitch is one of the most important knots or at least more useful knots you'll ever learn. It allows for adjustable tension and tightens up just where and when you need it to. Also, look how sexy it is. Don't you want to just put your stuff in there? You do, don't you? Don't you? You do, you dirty, dirty boy, you. This is my backpack. As you can see, it's held away up from the ground to protect it from dirt, from rain, from bugs, from homeless people. All you need is a cord with two loops and a carabiner. And then you can hang your backpack or yourself from any tree you find. Good luck with it. For a proper breakfast of champions, we have here a flask of booze and, well, a grill net and a fire. Now look, uh, this is a survival tip, but it's really economical to get drunk early in the morning because then you get to be drunk for longer before you go to sleep. Think about it. I am that smart. 
שנייה. And last but not least, my carving station. Because if you're going to be drinking, you should always play with sharp knives and tools after that. Again, it's just economical. If you're drunk and cut yourself, you feel less pain. It's a win-win. And remember, always cut yourself. My best buds, great bushcrafters, and very, very, very tender and gentle lovers. Especially this one. Oh yeah. Don't go away, you're pretty. <laughs>